Hi, I'm Joe Berg. I'm a math and physics tutor with Wizen, and I'm going to answer this student question today. The angle of elevation of the top of a fire tire tower from a point A on the ground is 19.9 degrees. And from a point B that's a little closer to the tower, the angle of elevation is 21.8 degrees. Then it asks, what is the height of the tower? So one of the first steps is to illustrate. And in order to help illustrate and to help solve the problem with you, I'm going to be sharing my screen so that you can see a, a free graphing tool called Desmos. So I'll be sharing that with you in just a moment. Here we go. Good, there it is. So again, the we've we're going to be measuring an angle of elevation from a point A towards a fire tower. So there's the ang angle of elevation from point A to the top of a fire tower, and they're asking for the height of the tower, and so we'll just call that height height H. And then it says that from a point B, which is 50 feet away, uh, well, it says it's 50 feet closer to the tower, which means it's 50 feet away from point A. Um, it says the angle of elevation is a little steeper, 21.8 degrees, and that would look like this. So a couple other things I'll point out. One is that, as I've said, there's a 50-foot length between A and B. That's that little orange line. And over here, I've got another line, which I'll call the distance X, which is the distance between the base of the tower and point B. So now we can go about solving the problem. To solve the problem, you have to use the definition of the tangent function. The tangent function is the measure of an angle. Uh, if, you, if you take the tangent of an angle on a right triangle, you're going to, it's going to be equal to the measure of the opposite side divided by the adjacent. And the opposite side, so if I take that, we've got two right triangles here, one with a vertex of A, one with a vertex of B, the other two vertexes the two triangles share. If I use the one that includes vertex A, then you'll see it's going to be equal to the opposite side is going to be the height of the tower. And the adjacent side is going to be the sum of X and that 50 foot difference between point B and point A. And of course, the angle they said for this was 19.9 degrees. All right. So now uh, the other triangle. We don't need this. We have that defined above. So for our other triangle, instead of 19.9 degrees, we're using 21.8 degrees. And instead of the, now the height is the same. The opposite side is still the height of the tower, but the adjacent side is a little shorter. It's just x. OK, so now we're going to try and solve. We've got two equations with two unknowns. One of them is the unknown we're after. So if we solve the system of equations, we've got it solved. So these are the steps you should you could follow to solve the system of equations. First of all, I'm going to try to isolate h and plug plug I'm going to isolate h from this slightly simpler equation and plug it into this equation. So if I rearrange this equation, then I could say that h is equal to x times the tangent of 21.8. I get that by multiplying both sides by x. So now I can take this value for h and substitute it in for h over here. So taking equation from line 20, I am going to replace h with this value, which is equal to the length of h. OK, so now that I've done that, I can simply multiply both sides of this equation by the, de the denominator. My goal here is to try to isolate x. And I've got x both here and here. So I'm going to have to get it out of the denominator. 
So I'm going to multiply the right side by the denominator of the right side. And I've got to multiply the left side by the same amount to maintain the equality. Now that I've done that, what you can see happens is the denominator just cancels out on the right hand side. And I've what I've done is I don't have a denominator anymore. And now if I can distribute this value into this binomial, I will have simplified the left hand side a bit. And then I can start bringing all the x terms to one side. So I'm going to distribute this value here, whatever tangent of 19.9 is, by the way, tangent of 19.9 is approximately this amount, but that doesn't really matter. We'll just distribute it knowing it's equal to something. So I'm going to take it and I'll have x, x times that amount and 50 times that amount. Okay. So now what I want to do, I'm going to take a couple steps and I'm going to move the constant on the right over to the other side. And I'm going to subtract uh, the term, the x term from the right side and add to the other side. And then I can simply factor out x. Oops, sorry. Now I've factored out x. And once I've done that, I can simply divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is just the difference between these two tangent functions. So I'm going to divide both sides by that difference, which means that the left side just becomes the value x, which was the whole point. So apparently x is 476.6 feet. That's this value over here. Now we're not finished with the problem yet. What we've solved for here is x and what we're after is h. However, we're very close. So what we know is that h is equal to this value x times the tangent of 21.8. And so I'm simply going to replace x with the value it's equal to. And now we can see that the height of the tower is 190.6 feet. And that's the solution to our problem. I hope that's very helpful, uh, not too quick. If there's, if there are problems you have understanding my definitions of the trig function, the tangent fun function, or if you have trouble uh, following some of the steps I took to solve the systems of system of equations, then look up a Wisent tutor and I'm sure they can give you a hand figuring all that out. Thanks very much. Have a great day.